very fascinating when the tree fell it took out all the power everything except the topmost power cable all the way to the ground they all sagged and the two poles at the two ends bent a little maybe five ten degrees five degrees and when the tree was cut all the cables came back up except of course the top power one and therefore the power company came in just changed the power and everybody's power internet everything came back on it's really the sag <laughs> that helped out typically if this were more taut the two poles would have come down completely and uh, the tree was holding them to the ground and the township and the guys came in very quick cut the tree branches off and promptly everything snapped back up they did not even change a pole the pole did not fall all the way we'll see the gap that it's created uh, and both the poles have in the ground level a gap they say that they change the transformer and uh, if you walk towards while looking at this mess that they created it'll all be mine to get it removed and replaced uh, thrown so if you look at the bottom of this tree of this uh, That gap, because of the sogginess of the earth, the tree, the, the pole just bent over, let all the utilities snag, only the top high voltage, therefore the electric company could fix it in such a short time. It's a, it's a quite a unique situation this gap that is the one that the pole on both sides bent and giving enough sag for the cables these cables to be pushed down to and held down by the tree while uh, so interestingly internet while we lost power all the cables were down but internet was available through the outage <laughs> if we knew if we could power the router it would have been we could have had power the router we could have had internet all through so every one of these have survived except the topmost one which is the power that they have to reinstall Final bye-bye to my tree.